Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising weekly tarot reading, September 23rd to September 29th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Leo, is going to be the uh, Five of Swords. Followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here, that is going to be the Tree of Pentacles. Afterwards, we do have the Tree of Swords which stands for the uh, positive aspect of the week. And then the last one, that will be the Nine of Cups which represents the guidance that Taro is offering. So before we scrutinize the reading, once again, Five of Swords, it is the topic and the general theme of the week for you. Afterwards, we do have the Tree of Pentacles here, which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome. Then it is the, the Three of Swords, which stands for the um, positive aspect of the week. And then the last one here, it is the Guidance card, which is the Nine of Cups. All right, so Five of Swords as a topic, it's catalyzed or accompanied by the Three of Cups and uh, the formation, it is a active neutrals. And we are talking about here a, as a, a huge difference in between your vision and the vision of those that are surrounding you, like coworkers, like friends, like family, you know, or a boyfriend or a girlfriend, it doesn't matter. But the thing is that there will be no uh, contact point in between you and them to do certain cooperation either in a project activity or you name it and for that reason it looks like that also their standpoint is not going to be able to sway you out of your path so regardless is there anybody there to support you or not you are going to do what you have in mind anyway and that's a good thing because um, the week itself uh, or your awareness throughout the week is going to be very sharp in the sense of that you will fully understand your limitations, your capabilities as well. And it doesn't look like that you're going to throw yourself into something that you are not sure you can push to the very end. You cannot pull it through. And shame on those who did not believe in you. Shame on those who tried to um, convince you other way around. Shame on those who tried to humiliate you for the reason being is that you are a bit insubordinate because for some people, you know, your behavior uh, that's, you know, you have no contact with them in a sense of that there is, you don't share their vision, will be taken very badly in a sense of that they will try to hum humiliate you for it. And it doesn't look like that is going to work, but still it's something that it is not very, very pleasant. And one more thing here throughout the week, it is that some of your so-called friends 
are going to show their true faces. So do not get yourself despondent or poignant if you find out or realize, you know, that a certain person that you are counting on turns out not to be as such as you have imagined. So, uh, but it's not going to be way too late. What I mean is that you haven't placed yet such a great hopes into that guy or a girl to be severely, severely dis disappointed and to bring you some of uh, the negative aspect of such a, um, uh, such a fate that you can put into someone. Now, the next one, I, it stands for the challenges that you need to overcome. That is going to be the Three of Pentacles and it is accompanied by the Chariot. So, so <clears throat> the challenge is very well correlated with the topic here. First of all, we do have a passive supporters, uh, passive friends, excuse me. And these two cards are, are pointing toward the uh, solo stray or toward the solo play that you will have to do into this particular endeavor. All right. And at some point you may find it a bit overwhelming uh, that you are lacking support or a... Um, enthusiastic push, enthusiastic drive from those around you, that for example, your family isn't supporting you through uh, through your strife, your your boyfriend or a girlfriend or your husband or a wife is not supporting you through, throughout, uh, your friends are not giving a damn about what you're doing and your coworkers are rather not very polite and etc, etc. But the thing is here, um, Leo is that you don't need those people, right? You are not just only strong enough on your own, but as well, you are fully capable to enjoy the uh, the look of your personal hard work, all right, or the singularity. And ultimately, at the end, should you believe in yourself, should you arm yourself with that iron will and uh, strong determination, and you just charge forward, all right? The triumph, it is almost guaranteed, not almost, but certainly guaranteed to you. But uh, uh, the challenge resides also in a different aspect. Now, those people are not going to um, support you into your personal endeavor. But how about the cumulative endeavors? Well, they will be affected by it as well. And it's just because, you know, you act against their expectations in your own personal life, that will put them a little bit on the negative side when it comes to I a cumulative endeavors as well. So you, you despite that it's going to be very difficult for you to do so, you have to be polite and you need to aim for a meaningful conversations in between you and those people for the common good. And the next card that we do have, it is the challenge, the positive aspect of the week that is going to be the three of swords and it is catalyzed by the six of cups. Um, the message instantly popped in my mind. Uh, it is just, I don't know how to form it here. So the more you guys lack of a support, the more aggressive you are going to become and aggressive, not toward the people whom are denying you the support you want, but toward the situation itself. It's like a, a sport anger, you know, a sport rage, if you want to say it that way, where you, the more are uh, those around you disbelieve in you, the more you are determined to prove them wrong, the more, um, uh, how do I say it, not no, enthusiastic, but the more, yeah, determined it is as well the world to, uh, <clears throat> to succeed. So in reality, what uh, what those around you thought is by not giving you the um, the support you require. It is not that you need it, but it's more like that you hoped for, all right? That they they are going to uh, make you abandon your goal. But what they did is made you even more fearsome in in the face of this uh, of this goal or in the face of this endeavor. And uh, you are truly going to be a force to be reckoned with uh, throughout the week. Now, also, you're going to make yourself quite, um, quite quickly um, in peace with that. You are not going to get any appreciation, you know, any approval or, like I said, any support from those around you. It is simply not how it works. You will fully understand it very, 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 very fast. And uh, you basically are going to resign about it, say, OK, it is what it is. So for me, the only thing that matters is what is the goal that I set in front of myself and the goal shall be yours. <clears throat> 
And then the next one, it regards to the uh, guidance the tower is offering to you. We do have the Nine of Cups here accompanied with the Nine of Wands. So we do have a passive enemies and as a guidance, it is more like uh, a sense of uh, a sense of emergency that you need to have all right so you accomplish something you reach a, a certain milestone into your endeavor and uh, you should not hesitate but rather try to secure it as fast as you can okay that that's the whole thing patience is not something that you need to rely on here or a um it's not even patient but when you wait something to happen that that's not the case you need to you need to do things or rather like try or rather like waiting for a, a more um how do you say it uh, a more more favorable conditions if i may express myself that way you need to remember that the conditions are just as exact uh, as just exactly as you make them all right so if you are working under a um, unpleasant conditions this is because you made them that way all right and regardless of what the conditions are, you can, whenever you reach a milestone, whenever you have an improvement, whenever you ac accomplish something, you can definitely do something as well to secure it, to, to, to make it from a, a short-term victory, from a, a short-term happiness, to traverse it into a, a long-lasting one. So at the end of the day here, Leo, it looks like that um, this is one more testament for my statement from for something that I go by with. It is my like my uh, a law of living. It is uh, regardless of how much you try to to satisfy everybody and to be nice, not exactly nice, but um, subordinate to everybody, you will never be able to. So why don't you try instead to do something for yourself? And it is look like that this is what that week is going to be all about. You doing something for yourself for a change. Okay, so that was your weekly tarot reading, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And um, I hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.